Hey guys, today I'm starting a new gaming series on the channel. I'm not going to do a gaming channel anymore, I'm just going to focus on my main channel, build it up as much as I can to get that one more popular. But anyways, today we're going to start playing a game called Shadow of the Colossus. You may not have heard of it, but it's a game I used to play all the time. Haven't actually played it properly for quite a long time. So just to warn you, my reactions won't be completely authentic. But it's still an amazing game every time you play it. The soundtrack's amazing, the graphics are amazing, the gameplay is amazing. So let's get right into it. That's our character on the horse we're going to play as. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alpha. 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 ウィズフィアズウォーズドコワジノルデキョウティユラアイウォンキスアウィウリユアイズドルミキュートイズキュンクイドゥセオロドユイエリコイズノルオールアミューズウォーアルティクリックイブドリスドゥイズ Okay, so basically, if you don't understand what just happened, we're the main character called Wonder, and his lover called Mono has been sacrificed because of some sort of curse or something. And basically, we've come here from help from this god named Dorman, and they've told us that if we kill 16 colossi in this land, she'll be revived but it will come with a price. So, we have our horse named Agro. We can get on her and, yeah, she helps us get around a lot faster. So, you also have this sword that we brought. Hang on, I haven't played this for a while, here we go. Uh, which shines the light towards the Colossi for us. So now we can see that it's pointing us this way. So I played this game before, so I know where they are. But it is in that ravine we can see over there. We need to head towards there.
So there we go. Yeah, I even learned a bit myself then because whenever I play, I usually kind of just skip past the beginning. But I wanted to make sure you guys have a bit of an understanding of what's going on. I will set timestamps, so if you guys want to skip the first bit, you can. But here's the first little cutscene. It's kind of hinting towards where we need to get to. So at this point, we need to get off aggro then come towards this wall with vines, which we can climb. It's kind of hinting towards what we'll have to do in a little bit. I'll tell you when. Yeah, there is a lot of climbing in this game. And you see in the bottom right, that yellow circle, that is our stamina. So we can see if we're climbing or something. As that goes down, it's not going to right now because I'm not actually moving while climbing. You would have seen it back on the moss a second ago. When the circle gets smaller, it means we're losing stamina. So yeah, we can also roll to get under stuff like that. But just look at how beautiful this game is. Look at these graphics. That is where we started off, by the way, that big, like... I don't know, it's just like a big old building. Yeah, look, now you can see my stamina circle, I think, is getting slightly smaller, yeah. Anyway, now we can jump to this wall. And it's time to start the first Colossus. See, yeah, when they're called Colossuses, it's, or Colossi, it's not really a lie, they are absolutely huge. So sometimes you can just run up to it, but if you press on the arrow keys, you can switch to a bow. And if you use the same button you use to do your sword, we can shoot it, and that will get its attention, which will allow it to slow down so we can get a chance to get up to its leg. And when you see it has fur, you can jump onto it and grab it, and that means we can climb up to it. This will be its weak spot. While you're climbing, oh, you can wait for it to stop shaking. You can stab, and that will allow it to let us on. So now the fight has properly begun. We're gonna go up to this ledge on his back. This game gets really intense, by the way, at some point. Like, this is by far the easiest out of all of them in the game. I can see you're climbing to the top. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, these things are absolutely huge. This is actually, like, not even the biggest one. So now, get on its head. And where you see the sigil type thing, that's where the real fight begins. Not the real fight, but where you can defeat the Colossus. And you see I'm about to run out of stamina, so I'm definitely going to have to stand up on this guy's back for a second. Oh god. I get to go for it. So the sigil, you've got to hold... The longer you hold, the more powerful the shot, and as you see, we just did a huge amount of damage to the boss's health bar. So if we keep stabbing, there we go, and maybe one more, and we can end this fight. There you go. And that is the first Colossus defeated. Also, if you saw in the intro cutscene, where those like, shadow people are coming out the ground, that was because we're not really meant to be here. It's kind of like against like the law of the world to come here. We're, we're basically trespassing. We're destroying these peaceful beings for the good of our love, basically. Here we are, and we have woken back in the huge building. I'll have to search up what it's called for next episode. 
and you can see there is one shadow person standing over us to represent the one Coloss um, Colossus we killed. Now Dolmen will give us the hint for the next Colossus. After we see the idol collapse. Very epic cutscene. So you now he's giving us a hint. Our next foe is in the seaside cave. It moves slowly. Raise thy courage to defeat it. So guys, I think that'll be all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this. And also, if you want to see more Shadow of the Colossus content in the series, I'll see you guys later. Bye!